go thumbs up when you're ready. Hi, my name's Deborah Young, Justice for Families and Children in Philadelphia. I'm reading a petition that I'm passing out. It's going to be sent to the presidents and all of the senators, Congress, when I get 5,000 signatures to stop DHS and the courts and family judges from what they're doing to our families. We the people, justice for families and children. Petition for reform with the United States Department of Human Services. The undersigned hereby petition the United States government to investigate and reform child protective services in the United States due to excessive and gross violations of federal and state mandates, federal state statutes, common and constitutional law, removal of children from good parents and grandparents. We contend that there is no oversight in these matters and complaints fall on deaf ears with no recourse for the families to give fair and equal treatment in the judicial system. All power and authority rests with the Child Protective Services as the judges side with them in almost all cases. CPS agents and legally adopt, are adopted, abducted children based upon lies and hearsay rather than facts or evidence in order to gain financially through ASFA. ASFA is Adoption and Safe Families Act, Act Public Law 10589 that was signed into law by President Bill Clinton on November 19, 1997. This law enables state agencies to use unethical practices to obtain children for federal funds by falsifying reports and working in collusion with judges, physicians, attorneys, psychologists, psychiatrists, therapists, and other equally unethical contractor workers. Once these workers have ripped apart your family, you will find that ASFA includes provisions to deny reunification services under specified conditions and give states latitude to develop any number of additional aggravated circumstances in which parents need not be offered services. Legislation developed a relatively large number of conditions enabling agencies to bypass reunification services and thus effectively speed up the human trafficking trained by refusing parents and their constitutional rights. Within 15 minutes, the kids are on the state auction website ready for the highest bidder to buy. We need your help to save American families from this horrible travesty. Act now before it's too late for your family and those of your neighbors and friends and your children. We, the undersigned citizens of the United States of America, do hereby sign this petition for repeal, ASFA, and for dissolution or reform of the Department of Human Services, CPS. We are intending that upon a sufficient number a person who signed said petition, that this petition be presented to the legislator in Washington, D.C., the current governor of Philadelphia, members of Congress and Senate, and to the president himself for consideration of the passage of legislation reforming the powers of the Department of Human Services as follows. That the agents, service, servants, and employees of DHS be restricted in such a manner that no one shall remove, be removed unless there is clear and convincing physical evidence, not hearsay, that the life, health, or welfare of the child is subject to danger and that there exists no other alternative than removal. That DHS shall make every attempt to see that persons and children who are removed from their homes be placed in the homes of a relative or neighbor. Three, that prior to any 72 hour hearing that the parents, guardians, and other interested persons shall be served with appropriate notice of a hearing such that they be allowed the opportunity to be, re be re represented excuse me, by counsel and other choice. That any and all juvenile courts and the records be made open to the public and to public scrutiny that all accusers be held accountable for their actions. That any and all parties accuse of child neglect, 
abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, murder by DHS be allowed to exercise their constitutional rights of trial by jury of their peers if they so desire. That any and all bonuses received by DHS for the legal abduction of children be placed in a scholarship fund for those same children and a count set aside specifically for this purpose. The goal being to effectively remove the temptation of treating children as a paycheck. Part 2 of the petition, we, the residents of the United States, do hereby sign this petition for reform of the Im immunities given to DHS in the matter of civil and criminal action against them. When DHS violates a United States citizen's civil or constitutional rights, the injured party should be allowed and able to pursue criminal, actual, punitive actions and claims against them. When DHS places a child into a foster home or facility, they shall be held accountable for their actions. If a child or infant becomes a victim of sexual, physical, emotional abuse, as a murder, as a direct result of this placement, the victim and the victim's family deserve to have the option of pursuing criminal, civil, actual, and punitive actions and claims against the facility foster home. The workers directly responsible for the placement and under color of law, DHS and its agents and, and or its caseworkers itself. If the judge in a juvenile court case shows bias or irrational decisions, he or she can be immediately taken off the case and a change of venue assigned. All state federal employees, agents guilty of this unwarranted search and seizure, kidnapping, etc., shall be tried and punished with the maximum center under Geneva, Geneva Convention, excuse me, UN laws and un, under United States federal civil rights, rights statutes. Title 18 U.S.C. Section 241, Conspiracy Against Right. Title, Title 18 U.S.C. Section 242, Deprivation of Rights Under Carver Law. Title 18 U.S.C. Section 245, Federally Protected Activities. Title 42 U.S.C. Section 3631, Criminal Interference with Right to Fair Housing. My name is Deborah Young, Justice for Families and Children in Philadelphia. You can reach me under justiceforfamilies at gmail.com. My phone number is 267-463-8242. I will not stop fighting for the rights of God's children. They are being destroyed by courts, judges, DHS, lawyers. We all need to unite, come together, and keep fighting for our children. And show them that we are not going to stop fighting until every Every DHS office in every state is reformed, and the judges are reformed for what they're doing in the court system. My name is Deborah Young, Justice for Families and Children. God bless. Don't stop fighting for what God gave you. Our children are our gift. A new civil rights movement is underway in these United States. Families fight back, say no more. DHS demonic horror stories. Vote, vote, vote. Galvanize the vote. Vote for candidates who recognize official corruption, fraud, civil rights. Higher Lives Galvanize the Vote campaign supports President Obama's Move America Forward campaign. Vote. Galvanize the vote. 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 This is Justice for Fam This was Deborah Young. Justice for Families and Children. Do all you can when you see her at the rally this coming Saturday to bring our troops out of Afghanistan and Iraq to sign this petition for reform within the United States Department of Human Services. Justice for Families and Children at Gmail is her contact. Deborah M. Young, Justice for Families and Children. God bless all.